Next question is from, from Jay Canales140. What's more important, meeting your macros or meeting your calories? Mm, almost sounds like a trick question because yeah. if you meet your macros, you're going to meet your calories. If you meet your calories, you don't necessarily meet your macros. Good point. So in other words, if, if, if my targets are just arbitrarily 100 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat, I'll just make up numbers here. Um, I could hit those same calories by cutting my protein down to 50 and then adding those 50 to my carbs. So the calories are the same, but now I've missed my macro targets. But if I hit my macro targets and I don't go over, I'm going to hit my, my calorie uh, targets. So what's more important? Um, it's kind of hard to say because, again, if you hit your macros, you hit your, your calories. But I will say this. If you're consistently missing your essential proteins and fats – then your calories don't matter. You know, uh, there's a great uh, show on Netflix called Alone um, that I've been watching. And it's it's really really fun show. So they they take strangers, they put them out in the wilderness, and the idea is to see who can last the longest and survive. And it's a very fascinating uh, show to watch because you can see how people can starve mm -hmm. even though they have lots of food. For example, there's this you know this one guy who kills a, a moose. And he, you know, carves it up and everything and stores it. And, and technically, it should be enough meat to last the whole season. It could last them for a long time, for months and months and months. But a wolverine uh, comes and steals the fat from the meat that the, the moose. So now he's left only with really lean meat. Well, if he doesn't get fat, if he doesn't get a fat source, he'll starve to death. He could eat ten thousand calories of protein from meat. But if he doesn't hit his minimum fat, his body won't get the essential fatty acids it needs, and he'll literally die uh, from doing that. And, and hunters and trappers in the past, they would encounter this when they would, when all they'd be able to do is catch rabbits. So meeting macro minimums, essential macros, proteins and fats, very important, regardless of your calories. If you don't hit your essential proteins and your essential fats, you can eat all the calories in the world, and your body just won't won't be able to. I think this question maintain. just comes from the people always that are that are touting the law of thermodynamics, right? Calories in versus calories out. If, as long as you are in a caloric deficit, you're going to lose, and that's a, that is true. But to your point, Sal, I, you're, if you are following your macros, you're going to hit your 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 calorie intake. So sticking to that is is a much easier strategy than just managing calories. People that only manage calories, I think of like a the challenges as a trainer I'd have with like people that did like Weight Watchers yeah. mm -hmm. where it's just a point system. And then I get a hold of them and I'm like, oh, well, they got they ate all their points in fucking pudding. Yeah. You know, like yeah, that yeah. is not ideal. Like the, we, need to, we need to change this up. So yeah, that may be getting you there to lose weight because it's got you only eating 1,300 calories and that's going to put probably you- probably nutrient deficiency. Exactly, to address. exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, you're, you, uh, yes, calories matter that much that if you are in a deficit, you will lose, but- Going that way and just ignoring macro uh, targets is, you know, heading down a, a dangerous path.